I made from this for this video was a fight or flight story. Oh, okay. Fight with flights? Fight, fight or, or flight? flight. Oh, like okay. a time where you had to choose fight or flight. Oh, okay. Interesting. Do you guys have a story about that? Huh. Huh. I, I feel like I do. Um. <laughs> well, uh. I don't know, I had a really interesting dream last night where I like, well do you need it to be like a real thing? Tell me about that dream. It could be a dream? Yeah. Okay, so in the dream I was like on the metro um, and like this guy was coming up to me and he was, he was just like, it, like I could just tell immediately that he was like scary, like he did, he, he wanted to like do something like kind of fucked up. Oh, is that okay if I swear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, I honestly, I felt like this wasn't like how the dream started. I was like both with friends and like in a movie and like all sorts of weird stuff was happening. But um, I just remember like the guy came up to me and I was like thinking that he was going to give me cancer, which was kind of random. I, I mean, I've had some friends that like dealt with that somewhat recently. And I don't know, all of a sudden, like, I was just, like, I was deathly afraid of him, but I was also, like, kind of certain that I was already, like, dead. Like, I, like I felt like, I, like the future was just going to hit me and I was going to die, like, of cancer. Um, so I didn't, like, fight or flight. I kind of feel like I froze. And it felt like kind of my life was flashing before my eyes and... In the way that like you feel like when you're in a dream and you can't tell that it's like not real, I just sort of felt like I was like already just experiencing this super depressing life where I was like in the hospital. Um, and then I don't know. I, I woke up and I. It was just so weird waking up and knowing that I was okay. Uh, and I have no idea why it was that guy that was supposed to like give me cancer. It was like human embodiment. I'm just gonna stand here just in case someone knocks. Me. Yeah, no worries. Uh, that's, I mean, that's kind of it. <laughs> I felt good. I felt like I learned something from it. Like it was kind of like my brain was imagining what it's like to. Like obviously, I have no idea what an experience like that would feel like, but. It was like my brain was kind of trying to model what it's like in case I ever like had something like that happen to me. Um, I think I also just kind of get, in get afraid of people coming up to me in public. So like I was kind of, <laughs> I think I, I like recently kind of been in cities more and I, I was like afraid of that in the moment. Yeah. I have Do a question. Yeah? I mean, you kind of face death. Your dream, and that made you realize anything about life. I don't know, I just felt so sad, honestly. It is sad. Yeah. Are you dying sad? I, I think so, yeah. Um, you want to hold it? Uh, sure. I mean, I don't want my mom to die. <laughs> right. I said I don't want my mom to die. Right? Like, uh, like seeing, like, I've never had my family member die or anything yet, including my dog. So, that's scary. <laughs> right? Yeah, how could it not be? Yeah. yeah. How, how is it not sad? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I do feel like I woke up feeling happy that I wasn't, you know, dying of cancer. Like, I felt relieved about that. I think I felt confused because, I don't know, that was like a weird, like plummeting feeling. Um, I, I have like a friend who's going through it right now and I'm kind of, like I was trying to... Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, it's actually, it, I, I don't want to say any names or something like that, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and I had a friend who passed away from it last year. Yeah, Steve. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Um, and it's like a, it's a scary and like defeating thing because like, it's just sort of, like you can't do anything about it. There's like no sexy way to save the day or stop it or fight it other than honestly like having hope, which just seems really hard in a situation like that. I'm not saying that I learned that from the dream though. This is, I don't know. I'm, I don't really know what else to say now. <laughs> I mean, I just hope he gets better, honestly. If there's something that you can tell him right now, I'm sorry that I'm talking about you and something that might be kind of public or something like that, but also, I don't know, man. I, I care about you a lot, and I, I'm sorry if I don't show it as well as I can. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'll, I'll tell you more after this, but yeah. yeah. Do you have any sort of flight or fight stories? We saw a fight coming over here. Yeah, we did. we just saw some people fighting in the street over like that game where you like throw coins on the ground. And uh, there was like a police car that like pulled up and like did its sirens, and then they were like still holding each other, and they were like, "All right, all right, all right, we're we're good, we're good." You got it out. <laughs> yeah. You got it out now. We're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told him this is New York City. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't happen in Northern Virginia. <laughs> no, no, it does not. Yeah. Especially at like a spot like this, like, yeah. this is kind of like the epicenter of the earth. There's so much going on, so many yeah. different kinds of people. Yeah, I was saying I felt like it's so weird that like in my day-to-day -day life, like there's probably just stuff happening here all the time, and I'm not even aware of it at all. And there are so many like lives crossing paths here, and I just like have no idea, and I will probably not be thinking about it most of the time after this.